What's up collectors, so much for so much into CS today, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Legacy Wave 1 Core Class lineup in G1 Blaster. <laughs> now last week we got a lot of figures announced, Hasbro, PulseCon, and man the hype was real, the amount of good figures that are going to come on this wave is just amazing, but the full wave was not announced, for some reason they decided to hold on a couple figures maybe for uh, a future Fan First Friday or some other event, I don't know about that, but they didn't announce any core classes whatsoever and they didn't announce the other half of the uh, Boyer class for this wave. So if you know about the listings for wave 1, the Boyer are going to be Bulkhead and Blaster and if you see the picture you can clearly see Blaster next to Bulkhead. They're going to come on a box of 2 and 2 and for the core classes we got Hot Rod, Skywarp, and Iguanas. And again, if you see the picture, you can clearly see Hot Rod, Skywarp, and Iguanas. Now, for the Optimus Prime and Megatron on the very top of this poster, these are not accurate at all because these are supposed to come on Wave 2. I don't know why they decided to go ahead and put it on the poster for Wave 1 because these clearly are uh, the core classes for the other Wave. This is not the Laser Optimus, and obviously, this is not uh, Galvatron that's gonna come with this way as well. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why they decided to put that there because you can clearly see all the members of Wave 1. You can see RC, you can see Bulkhead, you can see Kickback, you can see Drash Rift. Now, Skids, for some reason, he's not here on this poster. And honestly, I don't know what's going on with this because it's just the whole thing is just all over the place. Optimus and Megatron should not be there. Uh, I don't know if they decided to go that route, you know over aesthetics uh, but you can clearly see that skits is just not there at all I don't know this poster is all over the place in terms of accuracy this is just not it at all uh, but let's go ahead and kind of analyze and see you know the directions they're gonna go uh, with the core classes for Hot Rod Man, this guy looks so, so weird. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't look like that because it kind of looks like a like a little kid's toy. I'm not going to lie, like the animation and all that, it really looks like Transformers animated. And don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic, it looks good, but I was kind of hoping for a G1 accurate Hot Rod so I can go ahead and put it next to the Optimus, you know, the uh, Megatron Starscream and Soundwave that we got for G1. Because again, I've been nitpicking for the longest time that, you know, Optimus Prime is pretty much the only Autobot that we got for the core class so far. I don't count Bumblebee. That Bumblebee looks weird next to Optimus. I'm just, you know, I want uh, G1 accurate core classes to go ahead and count as Autobots or Decepticons. And for now, we got three Decepticons and only one Autobot. And speaking of Decepticons, here we have Skywarp as well. And this is pretty much going to be a copy and paste. The only difference is going to be the paint distribution in comparison to Starscream. And I'm guessing this is going to be exactly the same thing for Thundercracker. But I'm not complaining. This is exactly what I want. And we already expect this. If you go ahead and and get a Starscream release, you pretty much expect the other two to be released eventually. Now, last but not least, for the core classes, we got Iwanas. Now, for Iwanas, though, it's a little bit complicated because I have absolutely no idea what direction they're gonna go ahead and take, but they can go one of two ways. Because this is a pretender shell, normally, you know, you got the uh, outside shelf, and then you got the inner robot mode, and then you got the inner robot mode's vehicle mode. So, they can go ahead and do maybe like this is the quote unquote robot mode, this uh, Iwana mode that you're seeing right now on screen. That's pretty much the robot mode and then you're gonna go ahead and translate to the vehicle mode. Or this is actually the quote unquote vehicle mode or beast mode, whatever you wanna call it. And then you can go ahead and translate to the robot mode. So I don't know what they're gonna go ahead and take. Maybe they're gonna go ahead and take the weird form like this is the actual robot mode and then it translates to the vehicle mode because I don't know, it kinda seems a little bit more interesting in my opinion I highly doubt that they do a pretty much a triple changer for a core class that is just out of the question they are not gonna do that I you know I assure you that or maybe the items or you know the uh, outside shelf and then you go ahead and attach the outside shelf to the robot mode and then you know you can detach it and transform the robot mode into the vehicle mode I don't know I'm just speculating for the sake of speculating but you know you can clearly see that the uh, Iwana mode looks amazing you, you know you can see the teeth you can see the eyes you can see the uh, school to the lead and hopefully it's going to be the same for the actual figure but i don't know what direction they're going to take 
moving on to the last figure that we have to discuss in this video here we have blaster and it's you know obviously next to rc and bulkhead and if he looks exactly like that then oh my god man this is a must have for sure because you can clearly see that they're going for a g1 accurate you know a uh, form and you can see the chest face everything it looks fantastic and i just cannot wait to put this guy next to sangue they're gonna look incredible on a display and you know if you take pictures take b-rolls like me oh my god man this is gonna be an absolute banger and if he brings his minions that even better and i think he's gonna bring at least one because you know that this guy is inspired by you know the netflix sound wave or the c sound wave and you know that sound wave has pretty much a gap on his chest to put any cassette there so at the very least he should bring one minion now before we end the video I want to take a second to discuss these weird looking boxes because I don't know about you guys but I'm not feeling the boxes and normally I collect my figures on the boxes but this time I don't know about that I think I'm gonna go ahead and display like pretty much all the collectors do that they can all and you know take a shelf and just fold the entire shelf of figures I don't know I'm, it's not my style I'm kind of a little bit more uh, you know OCD about it uh, but these boxes though I don't know why they decided to go this route I think was you know the war for cybertron direction and they just up it off a notch because you can see that it has angles all over the place for the war for cybertron line it was one angle on one side and the other one it was pretty much flat and on the top it was flat and on the front it was flat but for this one no man the, the, the top is you know on an angle the sides are on an angle as well the only flat size is pretty much the bag and the front is you know me window right there so i i, I don't know the splividity of this box is on the sides because I I'm interested to see you know how they're gonna go ahead and look each one uh, next to each other on you know the sides I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture and put it you know next to uh, somewhere here on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about but I don't know I'm just not feeling it maybe when I have one in hand my opinion is gonna change but for now I don't know, they, they just look weird in my eyes. That being said, I've been interested in the video. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm really interested to see and know your opinion on the subject, especially when you think about the upcoming core class and blaster. Leave that on the comments. You could go ahead and pick the entire wave or just, you know, each individual one that you like. In particular, leave that on the comments. I'm really interested. But that's pretty much it for the whole thing. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps you to algorithm and how my videos get out there in a while. So if you get anything, any value anime content, please subscribe and I will see you on the next video. But this is pretty much it for Transformers Legacy Wave 1 Core Class Lineup and G1 Blaster.